join me here today on Jimmy's Lake, a fantastic new carp fishery that's just opened up in the New Forest. It's a four acre lake that contains roughly 400 fish and those fish are absolutely stunning. Um, it's available to book on a booking basis either for 23 hours or for a day session. We've come down today um, at the start of March, coming out of the winter, approaching spring now, and basically just trying to look for a bite or two. And it's certainly lived up to its reputation. During the day today, we've been lucky enough to have seven bites landing six fish, and we're gonna run through now the successful tactics that we've employed today to catch those fish. At this time of the year, we're not looking to imply loads of bait and trying to get the fish really competing against each other. They're going to be quite lethargic. They've just woken up from their wind to slumber. So really what we're looking to do is just try and nick a bite. And what we've done today is we've come with an approach of maggots. What I'm fishing is a simple combi rig. And what we're doing is we're fishing a pop-up tipped with around about 10 maggots to give it that appeal with that movement as well as that visual aspect from the bright pop-up. The components we've used is the 20 pound Trickster Heavy for the soft supple component at the end of the rig and then we're using 25 pound Invisilink for the boom section. What that means is casting that around coupled with a nice anti-tangle sleeve it's just going to kick out away from the lead, present itself lovely and coupling it with a little PVA bag with some boily crumb and maggots as well it's going to be just enough to hopefully stop any fish in its tracks and nick a bite. As far as the lead arrangement and the setup behind the rig, we've gone for a, a covert see-through green lead clip and tail rubber, um, coupled with a size eight quick lock swivel so that in between catching, if we do blunt a hook, we can quickly change the rig and uh, we're angling again very quickly. Lead wise, we're not fishing very far out. It's just a two ounce lead and it's actually one of the grappler leads. The reason for that is I'm fishing up to a bar and I'm actually fishing on the slope. So rather than a round lead that could potentially roll down the slope, we've gone for the grappler style to make sure that once it's out there, it's going to stay in position and not roll. Actually, on this fishery, they've banned lead core, and normally that would be my main approach for pinning things down behind the lead. Um, but because that's banned, I've gone with another approach which I favour in these circumstances, which is a, about a four foot section of a 30 pound Mirage fluorocarbon as a leader. And what I've also done, moving that along now, is I've used some blobs of critical mass putty at one foot intervals behind the lead just to help pin that down even further. And when this is actually attached to my uh, 15 pound GTHD mainline, what I'm also doing is just behind the knot where this is attached is I'm using a, uh, a tungsten flying back lead. And that's just helping again to make sure that everything is pinned down. What you find on these wary day ticket lakes quite often is that these carp are very pressured than they're used to seeing, you know, people coming down and fishing with tight lines and things like that. So by pinning everything down, it just ensures that you're keeping it out of harm's way and it's going to hopefully put an extra fish or two on the bank. As I said, those super sharp CVR hooks today have been extra, extra special for us, landing almost every fish today. We only lost one because it managed to find sanctuary behind the bar and I think what was a lump of clay that it sat behind and unfortunately the hook slipped but every other fish has been absolutely nailed and that little bunch of maggots on the top has seen us have several bites and land several fish. So if you're looking to come down and book onto this fantastic fishery which would highly recommend full of all these beautiful scaly carp you will have seen then Bear this rig in mind and give it a go, but it's a great rig to try at this time of the year as we're leaving the winter and approaching spring.